Hi, this is Mike Minimal 3DP, and today I'm going to do a quick video on how you do PID tuning in Clipper. So let's go ahead and get started. A simple explanation of PID tuning is the idea. It's some settings that guarantee that both your bed and your hot end heat as quickly as possible while remaining very precise and stable. So it's a good idea as you change your hot end or in some cases, particularly when I change nozzles or heat blocks or anything else related to the hot end, I go ahead and redo the pit tuning. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you how to do it. And it's actually very, very simple. So let's switch over to my printer and we'll take a look. Now I've added the commands over on my Clipper calibration website. And if you're interested in that, I'm putting links down below. Now this question in regards to how you do PID tuning came from somebody who saw my website and asked this question. So I decided, well, I'll go ahead and add it. And right here at the top, I have a too long don't read section. And basically I could just copy this command. And this is to PID calibrate the extruder. So I'm just going to copy the command and go over to the console in main sail and paste it in. Now in my case, heater equals extruder, so this is doing the extruder, and the target I'm using is 205. And this is the normal temperature I use for PLA. Once I've entered this into the command console, I just want to hit enter, and this will start the calibration process. If I watch the graph up here and watch the temperatures, you'll notice it's starting to rise, and it will go through the PID cycle. So we'll give this a minute. And usually I tell people this should take anywhere from a minute to probably closer to five minutes. So you just want to sit back and relax and let it go. I'll pause the video and then come back when it's about halfway through and then right at the end. So give me one second and we'll let this run. Now you'll notice as the PID tuning cycles through, You'll notice that it overshoots, undershoots, and basically goes back and forth. In fact, this line will be very wavy initially. And in fact, it just changed the target from 200 to 205. And so it fluctuates some and then uses this fluctuation to basically set the proper PID to. And as this progresses, hopefully it'll get smooth towards the end. So let me let it continue and then we'll come back and check on it. Now you'll notice the PID tuning has completed for the extruder. Now I just need to go ahead and save this configuration. So I'm just gonna go up to the top here and hit save config. And this will save it in the printer.config file. And we'll switch over and take a look at that as well. So if we go over to the printer.config, scroll down, you'll notice that in the extruder section, the PID values are all commented out. The PID values, once you calculate them, are now in the save config section of your printer.config. So they're right here. So these are those new values. Now, do the bed. We're just going to go back to the console here. I'll go over to my Clipper calibration website copy the command for the bed and paste it. Again, we'll take a quick look at this. The target is 65. 65 is the temperature I usually print PLA at uh, for the heated bed. So let's go ahead and hit enter and let's send that to the bed. And you'll notice up here at the top, the bed is starting to heat up and it's set to 65. So now the bed is going to heat up and the same process is going to continue. So let me pause this and we'll come back as it completes. Now you'll notice as we're doing the heated bed, there's a lot less swings with that. But again, it, it, the process is it heats the bed, cools it a little bit, heats the bed, and then uses that to determine the proper value. So I'll let this continue. Now as you can see, the PID tuning is completed for the bed, it's back to zero. And I just wanna go up to the top here and hit save config again. And so I'm letting that those new PID values save to my printer.config, and then they're available next time I heat the bed or the extruder. Now, as you can see, doing PID tuning as Clipper with Clipper is actually relatively easy. As I noted, I've added the commands 
to my Clipper calibration website if you want to use that. I'll also add some other references I've used in the past to the video description. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. Thanks. Have a good day. This is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and I want to thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. If you need some additional help, I've also posted some links in the video description. You can set up a 15-minute help session with me, and I'm more than happy to sit down with you and see if I can help you out. If you need some additional help, I'm also going to try doing one hour sessions for anybody that's interested. And like I said, I'm testing this stuff out. I want to thank you again for joining me and I look forward to talking to you again next time. Thanks. Have a good day.